Haptone printing interlocking dots, frequency and angle, working with different screen types and frequencies or angles. Correct halftones for screen printing color blending are critical to halftone printing success, and we'll cover that in this session. I want to start out here just by taking a look at a simple color blend and some halftone screens. And here I've got the original, which is a yellow blending into a red. Next to that, I've got a standard halftone screen, and then next to that, I've got an interlocking halftone screen. The standard halftone screen has round dots in here and the interlocking one actually has them knocked out. The objective is, is that we print the dots like the pieces of a puzzle locked into each other. Now this we call interlocking halftone dots or interlocked printing and it's completely unique to SimpleSep Smart Rib 4.0. Typical industry standards at this point in time are flamenco which would be dot on top of dot or same angle printing. In other words, here with my yellow and my orange, I would print a 22 or 22.5 or same angle for my halftone screen, and I'd be printing dot on top of dot. Now, yes, there is opacity with the screen printing ink, and this is just a simulation in Corel Draw, but as we zoom in here, we can see we're printing dot on top of dot. That's going to result in some color shifting. Also, due to the fact that these dots are on top of each other, you're going to have either white base or substrate color coming through and potentially contaminating the color, shifting it or causing a reduction in vibrancy. And we can see that here on the screen when we compare it to the interlocking halftones. Rosette is a process of offsetting or rotating your screen angles, typically either 30 or 45 degrees. And those settings would be here also. If I was working with, this is actually coming from the tiger. If this was red to yellow and if I set this orange, say, at 52, I'd be at a 30 degree offset for a rosette dot next to dot print, typically 30 to 45 degrees. Now, if I'm dealing with blending, typically I'm going to automatically default to interlocking halftones. And I think the reasons for that are pretty obvious when you look here on the screen as to why, when you look at the difference in the vibrancy and you compare that against the original here. Now, of course, these are a little bit more dramatic because this is a computer simulation. Of course, there's opacities in these inks and they blend a little bit more than what you see here. But the fact is you get a much more vibrant and stronger blend coming out of the interlocking halftones. And we can see that down here. If we look at our tiger print with the interlocked next to the flamenco, we can see much more color vibrance here. And if we zoom in here, we can see dot next to dot with either the white base or the substrate color causing some contamination due to the dot on top of dot printing. Very often what I'll do is a hybrid. If I've got, let's say there was actually the yellow here and the orange and some black on top of that, I'd interlock my orange and yellow at 22 degrees, as you can see here, and I'd interlock this. And then if I had black on top of that, I'd take my black and set that as an offset, say to 52 or 67 and use that as almost like a rosette on top of my interlocking halftone dots. That way my color blend beneath my black is strong and vibrant, and I'm going to get much more accurate color reproduction through my angles and the types of halftone dot screens I'm using. And we can zoom down here and see quite a difference here also. And I just kind of blurred this a little bit so we could see that and see the difference. And this would be a simulation of how the print would actually look. So number of benefits coming from the interlocking spot color halftone printing. Greater ink coverage reduces the amount of garment showing through the print. And ink coverage is a critical factor. When you look at how much ink is covering the actual print, especially when we look at the interlocking dots, we can see we've got 100% coverage here. There's no garment or substrate or anything behind that showing through, whereas here, we do not have 100% coverage. We've got about 80% coverage here. So we've got a huge difference in ink coverage relating to how we're covering our shirt or our substrate color. Interlocking dot next to dot reduces color shifting. Interlocking dot increases color vibrancy for prints with more pop. Interlocking dots are also subject to less registration problems. They're easier to hold on press compared to dot next to dot. Also, the fact is, is that the interlocking dots will expand the color gamut as you go out in colors. If you're printing a six color job and you're interlocking on, say, two color blends with black on top, 
your color gamut and color reproduction is going to be expanded and greater than working with, say, flamenco or rosette. So go ahead and wrap here relating to our halftone interlocking dots and our frequencies and angles, and we'll continue in our next session.